This video is a collection of some random snippets of film that I took during our time on the Carnival Venezia cruise ship back in November last year. I didn't actually film a lot on board, so this will be a mix of some videos and pictures. I'll be doing some honest review videos of my time on the Venezia as well as what I thought about the food on board, so make sure you subscribe because you don't want to miss these. I'll also be publishing some videos of the cruise ports and what we got up to on the islands. So this is my first impression of the Venezia straight after embarking on the ship and just before I go to the muster station for the safety drill. This is the atrium bar and as you can see people are already enjoying themselves with a nice drink. It's going to be Halloween whilst we're on board so everything is nicely decorated with black and orange decorations and this big pumpkin guy here. We're now going on one of the higher decks, I think this one is deck 11, to get a good spot for the sail away as we're going to get some great views of Manhattan. I have a separate video dedicated to the sail away, so be sure to check it out. So I think I mentioned before, when I was doing my packing, that I have some gifts to give to people as part of a gift exchange on this cruise. So. I am going to go and deliver a couple of them now. I'm trying to get my bearings around the ship before having an evening meal, so it might be a good opportunity to just try and navigate my way around a little bit. So I'm just doing my gift drop off and being quiet because it's quite late, but I just want to show you the ridiculous length of this ship. We really enjoyed this string trio who performed regularly in the atrium bar. They played string arrangements of some well-known songs and it was a great way to begin the night. Now we're just walking around deck 5 and as you can see there are lots of comfortable chairs, tables and sun lounges in different parts of the deck. So these are all great places for looking out at the ocean whilst reading and relaxing, especially on those sea days. You might be able to at some point. Mm. So today was elegant night, so lots of people dressed up in their more formal clothing, Venetian masks, everything awesome today, really enjoyed it. So I've changed back into my normal clothes now, except I'm still wearing my Bon Jovi necklace which I had on today for the formal night because it's just the way I am. Anyway, I'm now going to do my recipe postcard drop off. So I participated in an event, well I guess an event, uh, an organised thing. Um, in which you get assigned to a group and you then give a postcard to nine or ten other people with a recipe on. So it's supposed to be a postcard from your hometown or a recipe from your home country. So I am going to go and take my postcards around to the people in my group. So I have got just this stack of postcards here and I'm going to just cover this a little bit so you can't see the person person's name but <clears throat> I didn't have enough space so I've put them onto a little I stuck a little envelope onto each postcard and then I have folded up the recipe and put it into the postcard envelope and so everybody whether they like it or not will have my homemade recipe for a teaside parmesan aka parmo now this is exclusive so I'm not going to give you the recipe, which means you cannot look at that page for too long. No screenshotting. And I'm just, just kidding. I'm just being silly now. Um, so I'm going to go and deliver these, <clears throat> these recipes now. It is currently quite late. It is 1.09am already. So I'm going to see how long this takes me. 
People are ranging across all 14 floors, all 14 decks here for these postcards, so I am going to get quite the workout just before going to sleep, so let's see how exhausted I am. So I am back from delivering. It is now 1.50 a.m. So that took me a little while to get through, but I was in no rush because I was having a great time looking at all of the fantastic cabin doors that everybody has decorated, either for Halloween or just as commemorative things for their cruise this time around. Really, really nice. But for now, I'm going to have to go to sleep. Yeah, there was only one postcard that I couldn't deliver yet. I'll do that tomorrow morning. And that is because a member of staff was mopping the floor and I couldn't figure out how to get to the fifth floor in another way. So anyway, it's all good. Good night. Another thing you can expect on carnival cruises is towel animals. The staff who clean your rooms will leave you a different towel animal every day and it was always fun to see what animal you'd get. One day we went onto the Lido deck and all the animals were having a little party together. There was also an activity in the Lido area during which members of staff showed you how to create the towel animals yourself. So we are about to sail away from St Martin, which is our fifth and last port of call. And in three and a half days, we will get to New York. So we've got a long time at sea to pray or whatever you do to your non-religious deity that we have a smooth sailing because we're going to get closer to New York where it is not Caribbean temperatures.
This was another musical act I really enjoyed. They're a husband and wife duo from the Philippines and they were extremely versatile and talented. They move around on different carnival ships, so check out their Facebook page to see if they'll be on yours. Halloween while we were on the cruise I had a Halloween trick-or-treat bag outside the door which I put sweets in for people to help themselves to on the days leading up to Halloween and I left it outside even though Halloween's been and gone because I realised it actually was a good identifier to know which direction my room was in because I could actually see the bag on the outside and I just went out of the room and somebody left me a duck in the bag how great is that? Let me show you the duck. It's so cool. Look, it's got a little plastic hat and sunglasses and it has a little rubber ring. Isn't that just the best? So, today is the last day on board Carnival Venezia and I need to start packing because we need to leave the suitcases outside the room at some point this evening so that they can be taken away and then delivered tomorrow when we disembark. And I really can't be bothered to start packing because I've bought so many souvenirs while I've been here that I'm really worried that things won't fit into the case now and it just it just seems like such a big effort so that being said I'm gonna just force myself to get up and do it right now. <laughs> this is always the worst part of ending a holiday is having to repack I think it's just just so boring but anyway I'm gonna do it. So we're just gonna hang about here because we can't be bothered packing so yeah that's that's it now nah, i'm kidding we're gonna pack we're gonna pack right now all four of us We arrived back into Manhattan and that was then the beginning of a very long journey back to the UK for us. I hope you've enjoyed these little clips on the Venezia and don't forget to check back for some honest review videos about the ship, the food and the overall experience.